Hey everyone, it's Ellen and welcome to my channel. So today's tutorial is about creating a simple yet elegant uh, fall botanical. And we're going to be doing some drawing, right? We're going to use some pencils and fountain pens and like a micron pen to create this beautiful elegant uh, fall wreath. You start off by drawing it with the pencil and then you go back in and you fill it in with a fountain pen and an even more detailed micron pen to get the finer details and shading. Um, you know, this is pretty simple step by step, but if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable. Uh, if you're not a Patreon member, you can go click on the link below in the description box and join. I have traceables, ad free videos, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. So I really think you're going to enjoy this tutorial. It's something simple yet elegant. Let's get started. So to begin with the supplies, I just have a 2H pencil here, a piece of like a sketch pad. I have a, a mechanical pencil. I have a micron pen, fine point, and I have my fountain pen. And of course my gum eraser. It's the best thing to have. <laughs> I don't like to have shaving, so I like gum erasers. So basically you're gonna just draw a simple oval shape. And I'm using the 2H pencil because I really don't want to see really intense pencil lines. But if it's hard for you to see, just do the pencil with a you know mechanical pencil. But I'm just doing a light oval shape with the 2H. Then I'll go back in with the mechanical pencil. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. So with the mechanical pencil, I'm going to kind of go back around the oval shape again, really simply. See how I'm just going back in there. Now you can see it much more clearly. And then from there, I'm going to like branch out some kind of branches, right? Going inward and outward. So you're going to go in inward and one outward, inward and outward, going around this oval shape. Just branching off these little simple branches, giving some space in between. It's probably like two inches or so. And off these branches, we're going to start to build our wreath, right? We're going to start to draw an acorn for an acorn first. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to zoom in so you can see much better. <laughs> so basically for an acorn, it's basically yeah, like a curved line, then another like a half you know, circle. Then you go down, you make like another oval kind of circle and just do a little point, like a little V in the bottom. And then you do the crisscross lines that kind of go in the, shape of the acorn and attach it to that stem. From there you're going to make this wiggle 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 lines to create that oak type of leaf and just put a line down the middle and then the outer stem right here you're going to do the same thing with the leaf. You're going to go out wiggle 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 bring it back in and put that line in and then you can add some more simple leaves in between just like that you know and on the outside as well. Just simple leaves or here I'm going to do a flower so I'm just picture draw a circle like really lightly and then from there you'll build your flower and then a circle in the middle for the middle part and then from there you do this little wiggle outward kind of bumpy little petals and then you have your flower and then from there you build out the details. See I'm doing these little lines that come out from the center outward and it gets a little more detailed. You can add a leaf from there or add another flower but I'm adding a leaf in here and just do the um, veins from the leaf and, the, and then do another leaf on the outside of that. So this whole wreath is just building and building from each kind of branch. From there, you pull down and again, there's the branch. You can do another acorn. I wouldn't put an acorn in every single branch, maybe every other branch, you know, kind of space it around. You want to kind of even, or you can just have more, you can have clusters of acorns. You don't even have to do it this way. You don't have to have it all separate, but it just helps you go around the wreath in a more like pragmatic way, right? So I'm adding just simple leaves that one look kind of goofy, so I'll erase it and I'll make more of a, a simpler leaf with some veins in it. And there you go. You know, you just keep filling in, going around the wreath, just building it off those stems. I can add some berries and that's simple, right? You just add some berries. You're just changing it up a little, a little bit here and there. Go back down again. See, crisscross that little cap on the acorn. And you're just going around and around the wreath. You just you see how I moved it around? It might be easy if you move it around. So each little stem branch, you could put a flower on the bottom too, like if you want a big big anchored flower like I'm doing here. So I'm doing like a basic sunflower drawing. I have a sunflower drawing tutorial in my YouTube channel. So just type in the search engine bo search box and look for sunflower drawing and you'll see it. But it's the same thing, premise of the other one. You're doing a circle and then you're adding all the petals, but these are pointier kind of petals. And here I am just adding more leaves, right, on both sides of the sunflower. The same thing I did with the other flower and those branches. You can add more acorns. I'm adding an acorn here and that simple like oak leaf. And just keep going around and around and around 
this whole entire oval shape. Now this works for any kind of shape. You can do it in a square shape, rectangular shape, you know, it's the same premise. It's how you build the whole design, but we're doing a wreath today. So, you know, you're going to go in oval shape. It could be rounder though. Mine's oval. You can make it round if you want to. See, I'm just building out the oak leaves that go off all the little branches. And then from there, you can kind of fill it in with the, with the berries. And if you put, want to put more flowers and more acorns, it's up to you, but it just helps you to kind of like do all those branches all around the oval. And then you can go back in and fill it with the acorns, berries, and whatever else you want to put in there, some flowers, some flowers, you know, poppy kind of flowers. So going around the whole design, adding similar elements keeps it in a more, much more cohesive design than just, you know, but you could do a design also where it's just all a bunch of flowers on the bottom and like twigs and some sim small leaves on top. It depends on how you want to do it. This is just one way that I'm doing it. And, you know, I, I feel like once you get the a few branches down, you can kind of just copy that and go around. It's pretty simple. So once you finish the drawing, you go in and take your fountain pen, like I'm doing here, and you're going to trace over what you just did, right? You're going to go back over all those lines in the pencil, and there's reasoning for this, or you can keep it in the pencil if you want to and make a darker pencil lines instead of using fountain pen if you don't have fountain pen. Um, but the fountain pen's a thicker kind of line uh, element I'm sticking in here. I'm just going to go over all the elements I have, you know, every single one of them. I'm going to go over all the leaves and the acorns and everything that I kind of drew in here with the fountain pen. And after I finish everything with the fountain pen, we're going to go back in with a smaller micron pen with a finer point, and we're going to fill in some details. So here I'm just going to speed up the fountain pen. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. But there's the micron pen. See, now I'm going to zoom in. I'm just doing these little dash lines. See, little dash, dash, dash. I show this on my uh, sunflower drawing tutorial, so be sure to look at that description. I mean, that video in the description box if you haven't seen it already. So we're just doing little lines on the edges and then you either crisscross them or just leave them just these little scratch kind of lines along the edges of the leaves, sometimes on the veins of the leaves, on the inner side of the uh, acorn. And it gives it more depth and dimension. See here we go from the inner side of the flower going outward and the flower itself in the center could be a little bit darker. So the, the reason why I have the micron pen because it's a thinner line than the fountain pen so you get two variations of lines and it just adds just a more dimension to the um, botanical. It's just a really pretty look. So yes, it's a little time consuming, but you know, hey, you can put some music on, sit there and crisscross and add the little lines and it really brings out the beauty of this whole, you know, ink botanical. And by the way, when you finish the whole ink botanical, you can keep it pen and ink or you can fill it in with color. You know, be creative, have fun with it. As you can see here, I'm going in there on the leaves and the just little, little scratch lines. I'm gonna fill all in. And might just fill in some darker areas in the stems, just go fill it all in with the with the actual pen so you can get some shadows in there. But I find this like really therapeutic actually to fill in all the little lines. So I'm gonna go around the whole entire wreath doing the same thing I just did when I showed you in the close up. Just gonna go around the whole thing. Yep. Like I said, put some music on and Go to town. <laughs> yep. Sunflower, all of it. I think it's the most therapeutic thing you can do, right? Drawing is actually very good. And the more you draw, the better you'll get. I know some people have a hard time drawing, but the practice of drawing every day or, you know, drawing when you're working actually helps your art get much better. And I say this often. So, and then it helps teach you to look, look at things better, you know? look at shadows, look at relationships between patterns and elements. So drawing is very, very essential in creating art. Even if you're doing an abstract, you know, you can think about how, where the place of certain objects or colors. So I like it. See, I'm adding more branches and stems, making this side a little bit different from that side. It's just, uh, you know, something I would choose to do. You can choose to keep it more symmetrical with the same kind of elements going around the whole entire wreath. Well, you can change it up with different elements like I'm doing here, adding some berries and different stems. And, you know, I just personally want to do it that way, but you choose what you like to do. So this is a lot of fun. So like I said, I'm going to fill it all in and then we're going to come back. Once you fill in all your designs, doing all the shadowing, you take that gum eraser and just erase all those pencil lines. <laughs> 
Now I would wait a few minutes after you use all the pen and ink to let it dry because if you don't do that you might get some nice streaks and you're not going to like that. Um, trust me I've done it quite a few times myself and I've been really frustrated so you don't want to do that. Or you can erase in between. So you can erase it in between after the fountain pen and go back in like I'm doing here with the Micron. And once it's all done and erased and filled all in like it is here, you see all the details I added, all the darkness and the shadows using the fountain pen and the Micron pen at the end. Get all those little finite details of the uh, crisscross. You know, we have this beautiful pen and ink botanical fall wreath. And like I said, you don't have to use pen and ink. You could use pencil, darker pencil, play with that. You can also put some watercolor in there, nice soft watercolors or even darker ones. There's so many variations you can do, but I'm just trying to teach you different things that will help you be more creative and get you out of your box and, you know, teaching you to like think about a composition and elements and shading, all that comes into play when you're drawing. And it's one of the most essential elements of art. So I hope you enjoyed this and leave a comment below. Thank you very much.